last year we warned you about all the problems associated with electricity door-to-door -door salespeople. <laughs> but what if you do all the right things? You've checked all the government comparison sites, you've checked all the private comparison sites, although a word of warning, if you give iSelect your phone number, you'll have a pushy salesperson on the phone in... 25% of Comparing electricity off contracts off requires a mathematical genius. This one is higher off peak rates, but it has a higher discount system. But I had on time on this one. It's got a lower shoulder rate. And even if you go to the trouble of weighing up all the different discounts and exclusions, ah! you can still get stung. Give us some more money. But I paid all my bills. Well, now we're going to charge you more. Ah, but I'm on a contract. I'll save you. Look, it's this Australian consumer law man, yay! You can't raise prices mid-contract. That's unfair under the Australian consumer law. Um, this is an energy contract? Doesn't apply to energy contracts. As you were. Ah! So while an electricity company can sign you up for a fixed contract for up to three years, even though you're locked in, they can increase the price. So the only people that seem to be benefiting from the fixed-term contract are the electricity companies. No! Ah. Not only can they raise the prices, they don't have to tell you they've done so until they send you your next bill. So you could be in for a bit of a bill shock. Of all the months to get a large Hadron Collider, kids, turn it off! Get off it! And even when they do tell you about it, it isn't always that clear. Last year, Choice gave a Shonky Award to Energy Australia for telling their customers about a price rise by printing it on the back of an ad for solar panels. <laughs> Last year, some South Australians signed up to an AGL contract offering a discount of 3%. But soon after, they put the prices up, so the discount was eroded to 0.4%. While Origin Energy in South Australia offered a discount of 16%, which actually turned out to be 4% more expensive than their standard contract. I'm back! The ACCC are taking AGL and Origin Energy to court for misleading consumers. Although, as with most court cases, it could take years. Oh, stupid laws. But the ACCC has said that this year is one of action and that making sure that electricity companies don't mislead consumers about discounts will be one of their top priorities. Yeah, not sure we'd have stood up for that, mate. Now, here's the bit where we're fair to electricity companies. Oh! <laughs> Well, we're faced with a lot of uncertainty in terms of our costs and wholesale prices of electricity go up and down and that's why we should be able to pass it on to the consumers. Mm, I agree. Really? Yes, electricity companies do face a lot of changes in circumstances, as do all of their customers who sometimes get paid more or less or have a health bill or a school fee. But no matter what, they don't get to change their price in the energy contract. Or do they? Hello. I just wanted to change my fees. I was thinking of moving it down to 22 cents. Just this month's been a bit rough for me. I haven't made as much money this month and, you know, my direct and indirect costs have changed. So my wife's birthday was quite expensive. That's this month. So I'll just, if I just pay 20 cents, is that all right? I'll send <coughs> Could you care something to do with the bill? That'd be excellent. G'day, sir. Come and help with the bill. <coughs> I just wanted to make sure <coughs> it's... Uh, sorry, basic. sorry. I'll... Can you please stop filming? We weren't allowed to keep filming, so here's a recreation of our conversation with AGL. I was thinking of only paying 18 cents this month instead of 24. Just because I haven't made as much money this month, and it states in the contract at 6.2, we can change the price at any time. I presume that means that either of us can change the price. Is that right? But I don't have your contract in front of me! <laughs> but all your contracts state that you can change the fee. But we give you notice of what the fee is! So how do I give you notice that I'm going to change how much I'm going to pay? I think you'll find that you don't have the right to change the contract! Wow! So I don't have the right to change the contract, but you do! Yep, that's exactly what happened. It seems like there's one set of rules for them and one for us. Which is why the Consumer Law Action Centre wants to change the rules so that during a fixed term energy contract, the energy price also has to be fixed. Good luck to them. Now we get that the energy market is complex, but if energy companies really want to put up their prices, you should be able to get out of the contract without paying a termination fee. Actually, some companies do that. 
If you read clause 5.1.1 of Red Energy's contract... Who the hell is going to do that? OK, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. This says that if they put their prices up above the standard contract, you can get out of it if you notice and tell them within 20 days. See? Yeah, but that means they could offer you a discount of 10% and then erode that to 1% and you wouldn't be protected. Oh. Yeah, I probably should have read it. Oh, well! Oh. <laughs> I forgot to pay my electricity bill. Seriously? Yeah, it's really expensive. But while we pray for electricity contracts to become fairer... No, thanks, mate. What can you do? Energy Australia offers the opportunity to rate fix for a couple of years. But if you do this, you don't get any of their discounts. So you should do the maths. In my case, it was $38 more a month. Origin and Momentum offer plans that freeze the energy part of your plan, but they do pass on other costs which can increase. Or you can go with Dodo, who have no contract and you can get out at any time without a fee. But no matter which plan you go for, always check how big the termination fee is. Because in energy contracts, things can change a lot. I don't like your advice. A Minecraft electricity gun? That, that's not even a real thing. <laughs> well, I could be wrong about that. <laughs>